And then turning our attention to the fifth and final question of the first game, which one of the following must be true about any acceptable product code? All right, so we're looking again for what must be true. A, there is exactly one digit between the zero and the one. Well, again, looking at our free hypothetical that we just drew out from question number four, you notice that there are no digits between the zero and the one. So A does not have to be true and A would be eliminated. B, there is exactly one digit between the one and the two. Again, that does not have to be true. Looking at our scenario one and our hypothetical scenario one from question three, we notice that there is no space between one and two. No digits, they're directly next to each other. So B does not follow and B would be eliminated. C, there are at most two digits between the one and the three. Well, again, you notice from scenario one, we could actually have three digits in between the one and the three, right? Have one be first, three be fifth, and there would be one, two, three digits in between. So C does not have to be true and C would be eliminated. Moving to D, there are at most two digits between the two and the three. Again, looking at scenario two, we see we could have three digits between the two and the three. Two could be first, three could be fifth. So again, D does not have to be true, so D is out, which brings us process of elimination to E. There are at most two digits between the two and the four. And if you notice in scenario one, where two is second, the latest we could have four is fifth, and that is exactly two spaces in between so at most two in that scenario whereas in scenario one there is no space between two and four so you notice there is at most two digits between two and four so e must be true and e would be the correct answer all right i hope that was helpful let's turn our attention to game number two